Hey guys, it's Crystal Renee here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining. Hey guys, I apologize for the absence. I know you all have been waiting on this update. Sorry for the long wait, but here it is. So previously in my last video, you guys seen when I unboxed my Monsteria Thai Constellation and you saw that it had some webbing and I treated it twice. I drenched it with Castile soap, water, and alcohol. And I went ahead and repotted it. And I cleaned its leaves with lemon and lime juice mixed with water. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it's looking like now. But before I do so, I wanna first show you the two new plants that I just received. So here's the unboxing for them now. So in this package I have is a Persian shield that I ordered from a Facebook purge. This is my first time ordering from this particular seller. But as you can see, I believe she did a great job with packaging. She covered the top with the cotton and she also had it wrapped in bubble wrap as you can see here on top of another layer of cotton so here I'm unwrapping it from the bubble wrap and you can see she had it also in a ziploc bag wrapped in damp paper towel she packaged this fairly well but I can say Persian shill seems like it don't ship quite well so I had a few casualties as far as leaves I had to remove a few due to them being a bit crispy but overall I think it's a pretty nice plant and hopefully it's able to revive so here I'm just going to give you guys a sneak peek of what the roots were looking like seems as if they were nice and healthy so I'm using one hand, so it's taking me some time. So here is the overall look after I completely unpackaged the Persian Shield. I think it's going to take a little bit of time to revive, but I will show you the finished look of it potted up at the end. The second package is from the same seller I purchased my Monsteria Thai Constellation. As you can see, it's packaged very well. I'm going to remove the receipt and in the box as you can see they have it wrapped in cardboard so I'm going to remove that and show you what it looks like at the bottom and as you can see it is wrapped very well so I am going to remove the tape here in a moment from the bottom and after I do so I will go into unwrapping the paper and I'm not sure if you can tell what plant this is but as you can see it is the philodendron silver sword hastatum and it's gorgeous it has a few damaged leaves but nothing to be worried about Please bear with me as I am using one hand to film this and to also unwrap this plant and show it to you all at the same time. So yeah, it's called multitasking. <laughs> but this plant is gorgeous. It has a little nick in this leaf as you can see here, but I'm not too worried about that. Things happen, but as you can see, there is new growth. So that's exciting. Now I'm not too sure if you saw my unboxing video for my silver sword the last time, which I need to correct because apparently that was not the silver sword. This is the correct silver sword. And in the last video, the correct name for that plant was uh, Aglaonema sterling. So I will have that video linked up above if you missed out on that video to check out my Aglaonema sterling. But yeah, 
So now I officially have a Philodendron Silver Sword Hustata. Now I'm gonna go in and check out its roots. I'm going to remove the paper from the pot. That way we can see. As you can see, it's not really sturdy. It's tilting over in the pot and wasn't completely down in the dirt. So yeah, that definitely needs to be repotted because it got a little gangstling going on. But fret not. I will have to actually pot it up and maybe stake it up as well. So stay tuned for that. But as you can see, it has some pretty decent roots on it. So yeah, it should do fairly well. But I do believe I might lose the bottom two leaves. So we'll just have to see. Here is the Persian Shield all potted up. It looks decent in its pot. Um, I may have to remove a bit of the crispy leaves. And here is the silver sword. Looking pretty decent. Once I clean up those leaves, I believe it's going to look beautiful. And like I mentioned before, I do believe I may lose the bottom leaves because of the yellowing. Now for the moment you all have been waiting on, here is my Monsteria Thai Constellation. She is looking gorgeous. I cleaned those leaves after treating her twice and I think she's gonna do just fine. I've given her some well draining soil in a planter that does have a drainage hole that is very important. Oh my gosh, look at the leaves. I just can't get enough of the fenestrations and the speckles. It is just beautiful. So as you can see, with me just treating this plant and giving the leaves a good cleaning, it's top notch. So I'm no longer disappointed. I'm very pleased and I'm happy with my purchase. As you can see, I did purchase with them again. As I mentioned earlier, the Silver Sword Hestatum was from the same exact seller. And yeah, I will continue to shop with them again. Well, that is it for this video. If you like, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe. And until next time, enjoy peace, spread love, and be blessed. Hey, don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms. And until next time, happy growing.